Now, this number, we've seen it in a few different spots. So again, make sure that you are checking your numbers, shopping your lines around. Uh, What's up, everybody? I'm Allie Burns from Picks and Parlays. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. That way you never miss our new show, the NFL Power Hour, every Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, we saw an eight and a half, but BetMGM's holding it at a nine and a half. Nick, what do you think about the Tennessee Titans, over or under the nine and a half for season wins? Well, I think for, for many, they'll look at this nine and a half number and they'll be asking what's up here because... You know, this is a Titans team that's won 11 and 12 games over the last two seasons. Uh, even when Derrick Henry went down with injury last year, Mike Rabel was able to keep the team winning. It finished 12 and 5 last season, and now Henry's back at 100%. Uh, Tennessee fans, I think, you know, they have every reason to think that this upcoming 22-23 season could be just as good or even better than last year. So then what is the deal with this 9.5 number then? Uh you know, in each of the four seasons before 2020, the Titans won exactly nine games each in each of those four seasons. Um, I think many analysts aren't convinced about Ryan Tannehill and whether he's the right man for the job. But really, I mean, over the last three seasons, he's been unbelievably solid. Uh, um, and with Henry back in the in the lineup, the offense should be just as good as it was uh, last year. Uh, with the defense, I mean, the defense was really solid last year. It should be able to pick up where it left off last year as well. Uh, so it does appear that Tennessee should be able to go over this win total and match what it did last year. But the deal is, is the scheduling. It's just really tough this year. Uh, they get a first place uh, schedule in 2022 because they won the division last year. Uh, Tennessee has to face the FC West. It has to face the NFC East. Uh, they also have to face the Bengals at home, the Bills on the road, and the Packers on the road. Uh, so all four teams in the AFC uh, West are going to be tough to beat this year. Uh, they get the Broncos and Raiders at home, but they face the Chiefs and Chargers on the road. Um, they face the Giants at home. Last week, I broke down the Giants. I, I predicted that they would go over their seven and a half win total. And I mean, they should be able to take care of the Giants at home, no problem. Uh, but they face a the Cowboys team at home that's going to be a tough game for sure uh i mean tennessee should once again win the division the colts are going to put up a fight uh but yeah. not much is expected of jacksonville or uh or of uh, houston this year they went five and one in division play last year they should be able to match that this year uh so they are expected to do well in their own division but facing the afc west is going to be difficult for sure uh, and really, I think that going two and two against the NFC East uh, would be considered a success as well. Uh, and then for the games against the Bills, Bengals and Packers, I mean, they could miraculously go three and oh, they could go two and one, but they could e just as easily go oh and three in those games. Uh, and so I think that I'm going to be a bit of a contrarian here, perhaps with this one, a bit of a pessimist instead of an optimist. Uh, but yeah, I'm saying that the best that Tennessee does this year is nine and eight. And so, Ali, I'm predicting the under in this one. We are taking it under. All right. All right. I'm a little worried about the Colts this season. I think the Colts are one we've got to keep our eye on, and that can definitely be a problem as far as the Titans are concerned. Um all right, Nick. So like I was saying about Sean, you've got the same options available over at picksandparlays.net, year-long, week-long, month-long passes, all for the NFL. Insider's Room over the last 30 days, up $971. You are number one on the site. You're number two on our hottest cappers list. You guys are on fire. Uh, tell, Remind our viewers how your NFL season went last season. Yeah, we had another winning season overall last year, and we were, we were really locked in during the uh, playoffs. You mentioned it. We went nine and one over the playoffs in Super Bowl, and then Sean also mentioned it. Yeah, we. I mean, looking ahead to the upcoming uh, season here, we also love playing uh, preseason football, and I mean, we just can't wait for the regular season. We love the NFL, uh, so we're going to be betting a lot uh, every game we we possibly can. And so, yeah, these season long packages, if you can get locked in now at these lower rates. They're definitely high value for sure. Yes, and definitely use the promo code CFL. It saves 20% off whatever you're buying off the site. Uh, definitely look into the insider's room when you're checking out your options.